What's up guys, welcome back to your shop. I haven't really been making very many videos lately because I've been working on some stuff that I don't have done yet. And because I've been doing a lot of uh, cleaning around and moving stuff around in here, trying to get some more space. One of the things I've done is I took apart the sander thing I had here and I used the space for holding my tooling arms. So now I'll have a little bit more space and now I have a bunch of little squares I need to fill in. So hopefully new tools coming up in the future. And it's just overall a lot cleaner. Another thing I did was I switched around the whole uh, press thing in the lobber. It used to run on a battery system and now I switched it over to 220 volt. Got my plug over there. Got a three horsepower motor that I had lying around from uh, the other sander that I took apart. And I got my uh, pump right there. It's a 13 gallon per minute pump or 16 gallon per minute. I don't remember. It's one of the two. I don't know. It, it runs a lot faster now. And I got my big old tank. So <clears throat> this is going to really help me out with the efficiency and making videos m more often and sooner. Because sometimes the battery would die and I'd have to wait for it to charge. And that's not an issue anymore. Though I can't really pull it far away from the energy source now, but I'll just make do. If I have to, I'll make it like an extension cord or some shit. So, pretty much, and a whole bunch of cleaning, as well as I got a sink in here, cause I needed a sink, and I've decluttered a lot. But I'm still not done, I got a lot of more stuff to declutter, and I got more stuff down there, I gotta find a home. But I thought of it, I'd do a video. I'm going to be forging some hooks to weld on around and on that side of my grinding table. That way I can hang my belts from there just to make things just easier, closer to getting stuff. So since I don't really do a lot of blacksmith stuff, I thought it'd be pretty cool to give it a try and, you know, record. Hopefully my hooks come out good. If not, then oh well, whatever. It's just for me. I don't really care. But yeah, I thought I'd make an interesting, cool video and give you guys some content. So that's what we're going to do. And here I have some half inch round. I want to say it's either three to half inch. I don't remember. But we're going to say it's half inch round. I'm cutting it into small segments so I can forge out hooks. I don't know exactly how many hooks I will make or how big, but I'll figure that out as I go. And it's just going to be a pretty fun experience. So let's get to it.
right, so I have my hooks made. I made seven in total. I'll have a few more sticks, but I think seven will do for now. And as you can see, well, that was not too bad. But they're a little crooked on the whatever that is called. They're a little crooked on there, but I cooled them down and because I, I didn't really have a way to hold them, so I'm just going to heat them up with a torch and strain those out. And then I'm going to drill a hole in them and then tack weld inside that hole. So far, so good, though. They are ugly, but they'll do. So I've run into a little uh, problem with my current build idea. The belts are basically as long as this guy is. And if I put a hook on it, uh, there we go. If I put it on a hook, like so, it's going to be on the ground. I mean, I could also just drill a hole and attach them to the wall, but I kind of want them on here. And I was thinking I can put two hooks, one there and one there. But if I do that, then I'm just going to be able to put one type of belt and I want multiples. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build up a little area here so that I can then weld these guys on there or bolt them or whatever. <laughs> I'm thinking weld, so I'm gonna have to look for some steel and build like a little platform that picks it up higher, make sure they're off the ground, probably around yay high, and we're gonna go with that. All right, so I've got them on there. I've spaced them out roughly. I'm just holding them on, on with some clamps. And it's looking pretty good. They're very uneven and very ugly, but I am proud of them. So it is what it is. But yeah, now I'm just going to spot weld all of them in the center and we're good to go. They don't touch the floor. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more belts on there than just one pair, but I think that works for now. Get some of them organized and out of my way. And that's basically it. Everything's been spot welded in and we're good to go. I don't think they'll come off with any kind of weight. Never mind, they do come off if I pull hard enough. Ouch, that hurt my toe. Regardless, I need a thumbnail picture, so I use this for my thumbnail picture. That hurt. It hit my leg.
All right, and that's pretty much it. The guy that fell off, I have actually cleaned up. I took some pictures with. I'm not going to put it back on in case I need more pictures. I don't know. But overall, it worked out pretty good. I'm very happy about it. And I got a little sneak peek here. Two builds that I'm working on right now that hopefully be done in the next few weeks. And we'll have videos up for them. But yep, yeah, they come off the same billet. It's about a thousand layers of Damascus. And I'm hoping they're going to look pretty cool. Hopefully. So stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.